Good afternoon, everyone. Chill up, seven here, and today we're gonna play Pokemon Platinum Nuzlocke. Um, in the last episode, we went through the foggy routes of Route 210, and we finally made it to Celastic Town. But there are troubles ahead, which we were about to confront. But now let's do it right now. Oh my goodness, that's Team Galactic Run standing in front. This town is insignificant. There's nothing of value here. It doesn't need to exist, so I'll blow it up with a Galactic Bomb. If you try to mess with me, I'll shut you down with a Pokemon Battle. So what is it going to be? Are you going to mess with me? Um, let's see what happens if I click no. Oh, that's right. Very smart. You know what's good for you. Team Galactic has come out to the bon uh, boonies like this for everyone's sake. Your cooperation is appreciated. Now, where's my partner? Oh, okay. He's going to say it again, so okay. You dare to oppose Team Galactic? That means they're taking on the world. No, the universe even. And it starts with a Pokemon battle as usual. <sighs> Anyways, it's getting slightly hot there. But I don't want to take out the cover because it's still daylight. And it might cost the sun's glare. So I'm actually under the blanket if you're, notice, if you're noticing or not. Anyways, I bet you don't see this coming, Houndoer. Take this. <laughs> wow. Why doesn't any other... Um, Flying type Pokemon have close combat. I mean, Staraptor, I mean, its wings are stronger, but why not Pidgeot? Why not Swellow? Why not Talonflame? I guess, I don't know. <laughs> Alright, we got another level up, and his attack's pretty high. Holy snap, we might be able to do something. Anyways, my defense is lowered, so I might be, um, I might be, um, prone to taking more damage. Oh well, it's not terrible yet. All right, Gobat is down. I just got worked over, and by a kid, no less. Oh, <laughs> uh, too much to handle. I can't do anything here. This place is nothing. I'd be happily rid of this place. Does isn't it that is it isn't it that same person who actually pressed the button in the Great March? Oh, I can't tell. There's like so many grunts that I don't even know each and every one of them, and their names are not revealed at all. Oh, well, you were magnificent. Aren't you quite the trainer? As the elder of Celestic Town, I'll give you my thanks. Oh, that old charm. May I see that, dear? What's that? You say Cynthia entrusted you with it to deliver to me? She's my granddaughter. Oh, wow, that's a l huge surprise. I mean, you can still carry Pokemon with you. Even, like, I don't know, you can still do what you like. <laughs> <clears throat> Oh, so there's more than one old charms. Okay. It's not the only one that Cynthia has. Anyways, we're gonna look at that artifact here. Vince examined the ancient cave paintings. Mysterious designs cover a whole section of the wall. There are three strange things forming a triangle. In the middle of them, a shining spear. What is this all about? We're just beginning to learn, but we're, at, we're like surprised every time. The cave painting's meaning seems to be this. They resisted beings. Beings so powerful, they were considered deities at the time. There were three Pokemon with power to match either being. The three kept balance with either, either being, as if they form a pyramid. And it's an ancient legend of Sinnoh that is still told in Celestic Town. Uh-oh, who's coming? I would like to know more about that legend, if you will. Who might you be? Oh, is that the same person who kept... Who kept saying, stand aside, stand aside. <laughs> My name is Cyrus. I want to put an end to pointless strife and hostility. I am seeking the power to create an ideal world. Thus, I want an answer. The world today can't change because the three Pokemon keep it in balance. Is that what you're saying? I wouldn't know. I do know the world is in balance. I'm quite satisfied the world the way it is. I'm not interested in your question. Plead ignorance, will you? What a pointless attitude. You fail to appreciate that the world is incomplete. I'll change the world. As the first step, I will destroy this cave painting that you protected all these years. A new legend of a new world should take its place. Am I wrong? If you feel that way, challenge me. Yeah, I will. I won't let you tear down this wall. I know you, trainer. We met at Mount Coronet. Why would you want to protect this incomplete world? As the boss of Team Galactic, I'll show you the error of your ways. Show me. What do you have? You're like the ace of the entire Team Galactic, right? so you must have something better. I have some nice poles there. And you have Sneasel. 
catch this four times weak close combat. You're not gonna take it, and I know you can't. Unless you have some some sort of focus sash, but I doubt that you have. And we're faster than Sneasel. Oh, I almost were. I almost got cocky and careless. What if Sneasel outsped my uh, Star Raptor? That would have sucked. Okay, you have a Go Bat. Your Go Bat should evolve by now. Oh wait, your Pokemon doesn't love you. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> oh, I'm confused. Really? Let's break it. Oh, we <laughs> we took it like it was nothing. We're not confused anymore. We're not thirsty. <laughs> And we're leveling up again. Dang, Munchig, you're, you're getting getting on top of things now. And a Murkrow. Okay, yeah, you don't have any good Pokemon there. You forced my hand this time. Nope, I don't think so. Hey, we're no longer confused. Hurrah. <laughs> oh, you have a healing item. I'm surprised. Drill pack. Oh, really? Oh. Oh, snap. No, no, no. Okay. Oh, if that was a critical hit, I would have been done for. Actually... <laughs> Actually, I'm going to switch my Pokemon to, um, to Luppy. Okay, go. I don't think another wing attack would take Murkrow out. <clears throat> then close compact side effect is really getting into me. You have Nightshade too? Well, oh, I guess you can deal like a fixed amount of damage if all, all of your other attacks can't do much. You got some pretty good movesets. I'm surprised. Impressive. Your prover your progress is notable. Oh, I couldn't finish reading fast. Remarkable. But, Elder, your attitude told me what I needed to know. If the beings of time and space are brought together, they can't be stopped. Oh, wow. Such a strange, strange man spouting such nonsense. The time and space of Sinnoh are filled with the memories and thoughts of countless people in Pokemon. This is a wonderful world. What need is there to change it? Yeah, I see no um I see no point of changing it. And we got HMO3 Surf, which means we can actually cross waters. And we can actually get a TM Thunderbolt that from the Valley Windworks. But since we already got Thunderbolt, I can pick it up later. I, I am in no rush to get um the TM. Alright, we're gonna get Surf and teach him to Empoleon, and then we shall be good. And HM Slaves wants to learn it too, but we're gonna save the HM Slave to learning Rock Climb and other stuff. Okay, get rid of Bubble Beam. And that was Piplup's signature move, but just get rid of it already. This is the video game, not, <clears throat> not the TV show, not the cards. And we're done with the ruins, and they're sent in here. Was everything alright here? You saw those strange people with the Galactic Bomb, didn't you? But those Team Galactic people, I thought they were harmless. The bizarre ways they dress and all their wild claims about making a new universe. While they they did want it to make a new universe, they wanted to take it to an extreme. <clears throat> I thought that was just silly talk. Nothing to take seriously, but there's surprisingly more trouble than expected. Trying to monopolize Pokemon just isn't acceptable. By the way, were the ruins fun to explore? Um, yeah, I'm interested. I'll stop by there shortly. Okay, we're gonna use Fly, Fly, um, back to Jewel Life City, and I better heal my team members. <clears throat> oh, my throat's getting dry. Do I have water in my table? Let me check. Yes, I do. I'll drink it later. So far it's been fun. We got five badges, which is about half the game. Oh snap. Let me check what the mail is. Excuse me for a little bit. Uh password. Um Spam. Once in a once in a while, like for example, once a month, I I can uh, actually go back to my mailbox and just delete, delete the mail that is uh, spamming my box mailbox virtual mailbox. Oh, I haven't picked it up an item at all. Oh, I don't use X items. <clears throat> actually, I cannot use X items. I better toss it out. I mean, while I can sell it, but oh, 
Okay, I'll sell all of them at afterwards. Just... Uh. <laughs> Anyways... We're gonna surf for the first time, and I believe there's an item here. And what's it gonna be? Yep, it's a rare candy. Not surprisingly. I'm gonna see what I can do off-screen and collect the missing pieces that I have already explored. Because there might be items hidden anywhere, and then there are also swimmers and trainers that I can have a chance to battle for experience points. Oh, I can't avoid the sailor. But I'm pretty sure you have water type Pokemon, but it's not much of a uh, threat. You got man type. Oh, wow. You have like zero offensive presence. I think um, before I go to the gym, maybe I should train my Pokemon to be level 40. And we should be good to go. And match out. Oh, so you not only have water type, you have fighting types as well. I'm pretty sure Matchup's the only one you have. We're, we're getting pretty good experience points from uh, from this uh, trainers. Can I avoid you? Can I avoid you? I just need to collect berries. Yeah, there we go. And we haven't encountered a Pokemon yet. So... <clears throat> so we'll do that right now. Or maybe I should pick the berries first. Oh, this berry. It unfortunately causes confusion if the Pokemon does not like the taste, but it recovers one-eighth of its HP. No, one-fourth of its HP. No, I think it's one-eighth. Anyways, we're gonna catch a Pokemon here. Let's see what's it gonna be, and we can increase its encounter rate by riding in the bike. Alright, so what's it gonna be? It is a Mr. Mine. Oh, that's, that's not bad. We're gonna try and catch it. Okay, let's start off with a quick, I mean, not quick attack, wing attack. See if, see if it doesn't take it out. Okay, that's good. Oh, too bad. You try to use a substitute, but, uh, <laughs> but your health is like less than one quarter. Anyways, we're going to catch you. Oh, wow, you're pretty hard to catch. Okay, my time limit is two minutes. Oh, yep, side beam. Nice. Yeah, you're fairly powerful, and we haven't caught a psychic type Pokemon yet. One? Oh wow, you're so hard to catch. Is it, I mean, Ultra Ball's like the semi highest one we have. Oh snap! No, 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 no! Star Raptor, Star Raptor, please. Um, high cover. We'll use. I'll, I'll send him my Empoleon because it's a special tank. Okay, so you have Substitute, Side Beam, Light Screen, and what other attack do you have besides those three? There we go, we finally caught Mr. Mine. It's supposed to be a male because it has a Mr. there. But I guess I can retype it and type in Mrs. Mine. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to uh, nickname it. And we're gonna name Mrs. This is mine. And where is it? Okay, there it is. Mine. M. I. M. E. There we go. And it's transfer to box one. Thank you for your convenience. Anyways, we are done catching the Pokemon here. And we're about to end our episode here. I think. Maybe if I can have one more minute talking with the professor. Oh, long time no see. You look puzzled. You wonder who I am. Okay. You're the one that is upgrading my Pokedex, so I'll take it there. <laughs> Images of male and female Pokemon. Oh, that's that's a lot better. <laughs> yeah, you're. don't worry too much. We will be fine there. Anyways, we finally made it to Kennelip City. Yay! <laughs> Anyways, I unfortunately, I'm going to end it off here because it's almost reaching 15 minutes. So, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.